In this video, we'll learn about the second type of marks card that is nothing but the size. Right now, I'm working in the workbook named as marks card and the size. I've taken the same data source that is Global Superstore 2017. Now, in this video, what we'll see is we'll see how to change the size of the graphs, how to say, change the size of the line chart, the maps and the text which is given. So I'll take four different examples. One is the bar graph, line chart, maps and the raw data. Let us see those one by one. Size, as the name says, it will change, it will reduce or increase the size of the graphs itself. Let us see the very first one that is bar graph. If you want to create a bar graph, I'll simply double click on the sales and then double click on the category. Okay, and I'll get a bar graph here. So you see here, sales, like category wise, I can see the sales. Now you see the size of this bar graph. If you want to increase or decrease, you can simply click on this place. And this is the scroll bar. If you click on the right hand side, the size will increase. If you move it on the left hand side, the size will decrease. So that is nothing but a size. It's very simple, easy option. Second one, if I want to create a line chart, I'll pick up something as date, order date into this place and I'll pick up the sales into the rows. Now, if you see that's a very thin line which is given, if you want to increase the line size, click on size, increase the size. And if you want, you can increase, if you want, you can decrease on the left hand side. So if there are multiple lines, how it will work? Suppose there are multiple lines based on the categories, I'll pick up and drop into the colors. Now, if I want to increase or decrease the size, if you observe, all the lines are getting, the size is getting increased here. Okay. And if you want, you can reduce it simply. That's very simple here. The third type of, uh, that is a chart that is map. If you want to increase or decrease the size, you can simply double click on this country. And I'll just double click on this country part. I'll get the maps. And based on some things, what I'll do is I'll pick up this as I'll pick up this profit and put into the size itself. Okay. Now, if you see the, the bigger the size is, that is the highest profit. How do I come to know? On the right hand side, if you see the highest is the symbol. Okay. I, if I just expand this, you can easily figure out. Yeah. So, if you see there's a small dot, that means the, the profit is very less. If the size keeps on increasing, that means the profit is very high. So, if you see, if you observe here, the profit is less. Here, the profit is more. Okay, if you expand, if you just maximize like this, if you click on this plus sign on this place. Now, if you observe here, there's some small places that means the profit is very less. If you want, you can just increase the size like this to identify here. The profit is still very less here. The profit is higher. Now, if you want to find out the color part again, I'll just pick up the profit and drop into the colors itself. Now, if you see, this is the yellow dot on the right hand side. Yellow means it's very less profit. The, the blue color, it stands for the highest profit. So if you see the more yellow color, the larger size, it is nothing but the lower profit itself, right? So size, you can just increase or decrease like this. You can pick up any parameters and you can drop into this size itself and it will show you the results, right? So I'll, that is how you can work with the size in the maps part. Let's see the next one. If I go to this raw data and if I create a small chart here, that's nothing but a raw data itself. First one, I'll pick up this as subcategory, double click on subcategory double click on the sales part and I'll get a raw data. Remember when you, any, any time if you pick up the dimension first, double click on that and second measures, you'll get this kind of data here. Now there are some figures which are given. If you want to increase or decrease the size, you can simply click on this place. You see what is happening? It's showing us hash. The reason is it is not able to fit in that particular area. So I need to expand this thing. I'll just use my mouse and I'll expand this like this. Now, if you observe the number size is getting increased and decreased. If I, if I come, it is getting smaller in size. If I scroll it on the right hand side, it will increase the size. So this is how you can increase and decrease the size part. So there are different options which are available, right? So I hope you're able to understand four different examples. One is for the bar graph, line chart, maps, and then the fourth one is nothing but the raw data. I hope you have understood. That's all for this video.